anytime you have an um, enclosed system like this, it's gonna be better if it has a light in there. What kinds of like just categories of options are there for magnification? You know, if a patient is having a hard time reading, um, magnification is often used to basically create a larger thing to see so that it's more accessible to the vision that the patient has. So when it comes to magnifiers, I mean, the, the, the easy thing and the thing that most people think about are um, actual handheld magnifiers. So things that you can get like at the drugstore, um, you know, they usually are nice and big, which is fabulous. However, they're usually not very high magnification. You know, two times magnification is pretty standard, three at the most. And while that will work for quite a lot of things, it doesn't work for everything. Um, but the, the nice big window is, is a good thing. And that's why anytime it's a lower magnification, you usually have a bigger window, which is great. Um, then you can go into a little bit, a little bit bigger device, but the purpose of this type of magnification is just to kind of look at something fairly quickly, you know, just a, a real quick, I just need to read this phone number or I need to read this recipe real quick. Um, and that's great for it. But if you were trying to read a newspaper or something with a magnifier like this, it would take so long to be like, okay, now I got to move it around. So it's not very practical for a long time reading. Is that, that's so because of the, you, the field, like how much you're seeing in that... I think it's just also because, I mean, you have a, sm yeah, a smaller view for sure. And then, you know, you're doing a lot of maneuvering, you know, between one hand, your hand and the page, and it doesn't always kind of flow nicely. So um, that's where it becomes kind of uh, cumbersome to try to do that. Right. Versus when you have a stand magnifier, um, what that will do is actually sit on the page itself. So Yes, you still have it in your hand, but ideally you would have it on a table or something, and then you just move it along. Yeah, we can definitely see that in the camera. Cool. So that allows you to have that kind of smoother reading when you are reading, say, like a newspaper on a table, and you still have a nice big window. Now, this is also still just... Um, this is a also a 2.5 times. So again, we have a nice big window. Um, when they get into higher magnification, you have a, a smaller window for that purpose, but we can get into that a little bit later. The other good thing about a stand magnifier um, is that it has a light as well. So anytime you have an um, enclosed system like this, it's gonna be better if it has a light in there because otherwise you get very dim and it, it makes it a lot harder to see the words versus right. like before when we had the handheld it's still okay because we have light coming around it um, but then we can even get into handhelds that have lights as well now this is a little bit um, higher power so you can see the the window is bigger already but it does give you that light versus without the light and right now I mean there's some glare but it does help when you actually have a something that has a darker background as well. And then kind of continuing along with the magnification, um, kind of a in between the handheld, which is short-term reading, and the stand magnifier, which is more long-term reading, you have dome magnifiers. Again, it keeps your hands free. So this is what it looks like normally. And you literally, again, if it were on a table, you set it on the page. So you can move it along that way as well. This is perfectly clear all around because it wants to let more light in. If you have a full case in there, the light doesn't um, come in, so then you would have to have a lighted mechanism. But this tends to be pretty simple for desktop use real quick.